what's up guys? My name is Adrian Picardi and today we're going to be taking a look at my camera build. It's a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. It's a long ass name. I don't know why they call it a pocket camera. I mean this one I can get why they call it a pocket camera because it literally fits in my pocket depending on the lens I'm using, but that camera is definitely not a pocket camera. Cinema camera? Yeah, possibly depending on, you know, what lenses you're throwing on it and whatnot, but yeah, the thing is amazing. 2017, someone stole all my camera gear. Yeah, $25,000 worth of equipment down the drain. But now I'm finally building up my camera equipment once again. Um, I hesitate to, you know, buy a new camera specifically because I just rent whenever I shoot projects. I don't really need to own a camera, but the Blackmagic Cinema Camera, it was just, it's just so cheap. It's like, why, why the hell not? I mean, I'm not gonna say it's cheap, but it's cheaper and, you know, when you, you Relatively, like if you're looking at things relatively, like it's cheaper than most cinema cameras. Arthur, stop licking the damn tripod, dude. <laughs> Went through the mail today, huh? The thing costs like what, twelve fifty after tax? You're looking at maybe at like thirteen ninety, almost fourteen hundred dollars. That is a steal for what you're getting. Like back then, when the F nine hundreds were around and you're shooting ten eighty p, that camera was all, almost like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh, and I built mine out to kind of mimic how I'm used to shooting with, say, RED cameras. And the RED cameras are like close to 50, 60, 70k, depending on how you build it. So let's take a look at this camera package. Um, so the reason why I built out my camera package the way I did um, specifically is because I like how it looks, you know? I, I think it looks really cool. Felt like I was playing Legos again or building out an AR. First thing I have here is, well, obviously the Blackmagic camera. And I didn't feel like unscrewing the tilted cage because I'm lazy. I got the main camera, hi, and I put the cage on it. The cool thing about this cage that Tilta has built or has parted together is it comes with this nice HDMI um, port that connects into the actual camera body and then you can lock it and screw it in along with a USB-C plug to USB-C plug which will go into the external hard drive that I'm hooking up. I like the Tilted Cage, I picked it because it looked the coolest. All right, so now that the Blackmagic camera is in the Tilted Cage, I'm gonna go ahead and install this 0.71 um, Ultra Metabones adapter. You do that by lining up the red dot with that one. That's locked in. Then I'm gonna take my Sigma 18 to 35 and throw this guy on there. Match up the dots and that's locked in. The next part is the tilt to base plate. I got um, small rig 15 inch, um, I was gonna say rims, but <laughs> rods. So these 15 inch rods allows me to just basically put everything that I need on my camera system. So we're gonna go ahead and install that. So that's pretty much installed. The next step is to take the camera and put it onto um, the base plate. Make sure that's unlocked. All right, so that's pretty much locked into place. Let's go ahead and throw on this Tilta top handle. It's pretty simple. This has a little spring right here. We'll throw it on, line it up with the hole in the bottom, and tighten it until your heart's content. You do not need a handle, a cage, and all these accessories to shoot. You just need the Blackmagic pocket camera, a few extra batteries, a decent size SD card, and a decent lens. And you don't even have to get an, ex an expensive lens. Like you can get away with shooting with a micro four thirds stock lens or kit lens. You, you don't need all of this. All right, I hope that makes sense for any of you who are starting out. You don't need to buy everything that I currently have. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is put the Fotka DP3000 follow focus, manual follow focus. And the way I do that is just line it up do is on the bottom, while pushing this down, you can go ahead and tighten it, uh, you're pretty much set, so your follow focus is set. And the way this thing gets mounted on is pretty simple. You just screw it on like that, boom. Then I have the Samsung portable SSD T5, I think this is a two terabyte drive. Okay, now that's in. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna connect it yet, but that's what this is for. Now you can see that there's a little button here. You just press that down if you ever want to take it off, but you don't need to do that while you're installing it. So if you want to take it off, you just have to press that down, disengage the lock, but I'm going to go ahead and put that back. Anyway, so let's tighten that. And tighten. God damn it. 
All right, so that's pretty good. All right, so now my monitor is pretty much ready to go. This, I had to purchase and I had to wait because I couldn't find this specific back plate. So this head box Unix system does not come with this guy right here. It basically connects um, with these four screws, which then allows me to put this guy. Arthur! So now that's on. Um, I can put the V-mount on. And what that allows me to do is it allows me to bend that back and it will allow me to access the UI much easier. This is the Fotka map box. Uh, this thing pretty much goes on exactly how the follow focus did. So, tighten that from the bottom. I'm gonna make sure that it's not, yeah, it's not getting caught with the focus ring. Cool. So there's that. Now I gotta connect the Feel World Ultra Bright display. And it just tightens up like so, and then I can use this tool to give it a few extra turns to make sure it's oops, hold on, fuck it, god damn it. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so now the camera's pretty much assembled for the most part. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect the power. I bought this. This is a separate piece. The, um, the two pin connector that came with the head box did not work. It did not go all the way back. That was a pain. For some reason, I felt like it was like this before. Yeah, it was like that. So that's the hard drive. Hard drive's plugged in. Now that the two pin is connected, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the battery. That's gonna power the camera. And then for the feel world, in here. Okay, so that is pretty much the entire, oh no, hold on, I spoke too soon. And if I'm doing something incorrectly, like I don't know everything, so by all means, let me know. You know, if you, if you see that there's something that can make my life easier, if you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And then uh, that guy goes in there. Yeah, boom, it's loaded. That is, and I can put this tool there. So the tool went back in there. Boom, there's the camera. You can see here, if I wanna access the UI, I can bend that down and I can go ahead and change my settings. And yeah, man, this is, this is how this thing looks. I think it looks super pro. It feels very similar to how I operate with, say, the RED camera. And um, I feel like it was a pretty good bargain for the price. With everything that I got, I feel like it was not a bad, I, I didn't spend that much money. I mean, it was a lot, but it wasn't as much as, say, buying a RED camera and outfitting it completely like this. I felt like the matte box and the follow focus were, I mean, especially the matte box was a good deal. Um, it's not the most fancy matte box and it's a little bit flimsy, but it does the job, you know? But everything else I really like. I like how this thing looks. 